Um, today I am going to talk about the jacket that I'm making for Ant-Man costume for my son. Um, remember how I've kind of made it to hold everybody a tip is always use something old um, so that way you can use it as a template. So on this one I had got a fleece sweater of my son's and it had the small zipper on top and what I did was I took off the zipper and just cut it straight down. And first of all, I sewed a new zipper that went all the way from the bottom to the top. And then I wanted to kind of leave the fleece on it so it wouldn't be so um, rough for my son on the inside. So that's kind of how it looks. So that way it's a little softer. And especially when you have small kids, they want it a little bit more comfortable for them. So the first thing I did was the front pattern here. And what I used was some templates. So. What you want to do is get some card, card stock or paper and outline um, your designs of what you need to do. So here you can see that it's pretty much the three pieces and I labeled them black top, um, red top, red bottom, and then the black right bottom. So that way when I'm sewing them, I know where they're going to go. So the next thing I did was in here I went ahead and left a piece out so you can see what I did was just remember when you're doing the right side when you're doing I'm sorry the left side and you're doing the right side you always want to flip the pattern so you if you flip it this is the pieces that I came up with on the other side here so you can see so when you're attaching them together it is a little tricky um, but I left this out so people can kind of see how you sew curves or angles and um, Use pins to kind of keep your uh, pattern together. As you can see, I went straight along. Then as you're turning, you want to turn the material, but keep it as flat as you can on the, on the edging. So when you're sewing, you're going to sew on the red side, so that way you can see exactly what you're doing. And you're going to sew along here, and then you're going to get a pattern that looks pretty much like that. As you can see here, this is how it ended up coming out after I did the sewing. And then the top part here where you have that angle, same thing. Here you can see where I did the edging of it. Went along, turned, went straight. And then when you're laying it flat, you can see it goes up just a little bit there at an angle. Okay. So once you get your first piece together and you have it together, there you want to line it up with your sweater um, and then what you'll do is you'll attach it to make sure you have the lip that goes tucks underneath there just like that it's going to go underneath it and then you're going to line it up where you're where you did your first stitch and you're going to pin it and go as closest to the zipper as you can and then you're going to do a second stitch the reason I did a first stitch is just it's easier and you can see where you want it to lay close to the zipper and then when you do your second stitch, you can go really right close along that line and you're not going over into the uh, teeth of the zipper. You're going to keep it along the side here as you go up. But one thing, remember to align your patterns up. So when you zip it up, you want to make sure that these two are going to be touching where they need to keep your, make your design even. Okay. So the next thing I did was just kind of tuck it around the neckline here and then I just brought it over so that's kind of how I did the front piece now the next thing I'm going to talk about is the sleeves so remember as over here you can see I took away the old sleeve that was here and I used it as my template so you can see that's where it belonged and then you want to lay it on the material that you are using Here. And then remember, you want to give it a little bit long, um, about a, a quarter inch around to make sure you have enough sewing space along. And then I made it extra long because the same thing as I did with the pants is you want to make your ridges and folds on the elbow. So when you do that pattern, it's going to go up, the material is going to shrink up some. Okay, so just remember the way you do those lines is you pinch 
it's about a quarter inch there and then you're going to bring it over and put some stick pins and then you're going to sew along the line and then you'll make another crease and another crease so on the arm piece here what i did is one thing you'll you'll notice anytime you're putting two pieces of leather over it's a lot easier if you already have like your base flat and you have your second pattern on top stitch your second pattern to the sleeve or to the piece that you're using then attach it to the arm because it'll make it a lot easier instead of it being looped around and trying to feed it through the sewing machine so once you stitch it around there you can tell this is how it finished out on my sleeve i end up uh, measuring the center of the sleeve up with the top of the um, shoulder area and then I start pinning it around I'll show you the inside here I start pinning it around to looping all the pieces together and you can see how I stitched it around there so that ha that's how it came out um, there so now around the back this is the back side. So on the back, what I did was kind of use the same method as I did on the sleeve. I went ahead and had the full uh, black leather piece cut out as one piece. Then I did a another template for the red leather piece. As you can see here, this is what I ended up putting on the back and cutting it around the, the neck area and having it go off to the shoulders. So what I did was I stitched that piece onto the big black piece first, then I attached, you know, the, the edge to the shoulders, and then I ended up attaching the actual sleeve last. Then I stitched the front piece and then the back piece together, and then I hemmed the bottom last. Now hemming up the bottom, as you can see, all I did was I tucked it under one time and did a pass through. Because one thing I've um, noticed is sewing leather, uh, once you loop it, um, you know, the proper way to do it is loop it once, then fold it like that, then you do a stitch. But with the thickness, it was breaking my needles. And so as long as it's tucked over and it's the lining of the, the stitches tight, you'll be fine. So that's why I did only a one stitch over there. So this is kind of where I've gotten to. Um, the next part is I'll attach the um, second side of the face um, of the jacket and then I'll attach the arm um, onto their next and then I'll start, start working on the paint and the effects of the lines on the jacket. So stay tuned to my next tutorial so that way you can see the finished product. Thank you. Make sure to share, like, and subscribe to our channel.